Hi Emily, how are you doing? Hi, you good? good. Good. How are um, you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Um, just kind of like, what are you doing here? What is this for? Why, how, what, what, what's this shoot for? This is a super exciting shoot for something about Rocks magazine. I'm very excited, it's all about jewellery and I've never done anything jewellery related before so this was super exciting. Okay, what does jewellery mean to you and what's your relationship with it? So. I think jewellery is such a personal way of expressing yourself and jewellery can like 100% change an outfit. Um, I have lots of jewellery that's super special to me. I have a ring, I'm not wearing it at the moment, um, but I have a Pandora ring um, that looks like laurel wreath, which is what goes around like on a film poster, it's like best actor or like best film. It has laurel wreath around the side of it, and I got that for my 16th birthday from my mum. So that's something super, super special to me that I wear all the time. Cool. On these, when, you, when you've done like a film and you go to these film parties, or is there, do, they, do you wear your own jewellery or do they, do they send you stuff to wear? A lot you, of the time I like to wear my own. You prefer to wear your own jewellery? Well, it depends. Um, I think a lot of my, none of my jewellery is like statement pieces. Mm. But like you need a few statement pieces, especially if it's like a carpet or like a really posh event. But I think it's nice to carry a little bit of myself. I think it keeps you humble, you know? Like a little ring that my mum got me for my 16th birthday, I feel like keeps you grounded. Mm -hmm. um, and it just makes me feel safe. Mm. So as you're getting older, has that changed your jewellery taste? Are you wearing more or less or does it... Uh... I think more maybe, but I think it's more stuff that I want to wear. Whereas I feel like when I was younger, I was sort of, oh, that's trendy. Everyone's sort of wearing that necklace. Everyone has those earrings, I'll buy them. Uh, whereas now I feel like I'm starting to find my style and find where I sit and I'm starting to understand how like jewellery can relate to your wardrobe and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I think more. Mm. So when I was growing up, my aunt and uncle and my cousin used to buy me a necklace for every, I say job that I did, but I did like Amdram theatre growing up and I started doing pantos when I was about six. I started in Aladdin. And they got me a little Aladdin's lamp necklace, mm. and I think that's the first jewelry that I actually remember. Mm. It was like proper tacky, just like covered in sparkles, but I absolutely loved it. And then every year after that, every show that I did, and then eventually when I started working like professionally, professionally, they've always bought me a necklace. So I think, I think the Aladdin one is the first one I remember. Nice, nice. What was the first moment that made you realise that you like, I want to be an actress, or, or, or were you pushed into it? I was definitely not pushed into it, not at all. This is something that I've always done. As I said, like I started in theatre doing um, Amdram productions growing up. Uh, theatre kids through and through. I was doing like music festivals by the time I was two, three years old. Um, I loved everything about it, but I also just thought it was something that everyone did. Like I didn't realise that people did sports and that kind of thing. I just mm. thought everyone mm. wanted to sing and dance all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and so for me, it was like quite a natural progression into working professionally. It was just a hobby that I had such a passion for that I wanted to push and do as much of as possible. Mm. I have a really supportive family, my mum is amazing. So she just took me for a casting thinking it would shut me up a bit because I wouldn't stop rambling about how I wanted to be on the West End, mm. be in London, mm. do shows in London. Mm, mm. So she took me to shut me up and then I ended up booking it. It was Shrek. Mm. And then since then it's sort of been non-stop. I don't think there was a distinct moment. I just, it's just in my blood. What, what's your music taste and your music? Go to? Unfortunately, musical theatre. Mm -hmm. um, but I have like playlists of MT songs because obviously in a musical you go through like a whole range of emotions. But um, a, lot, a lot of musical theatre. Um, I listen to quite chill music. I like British female R&B vibe, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, mainly when I listen to music it's to chill yeah. rather than to, because I'm yeah. already quite peppy all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your go-to restaurant? Interesting question. I'm like so fussy. Anyone who knows me knows how picky I am. Mm -hmm. I'm an awful person to eat out with. So I can guarantee you that I won't like where we're going. Mm -hmm. um, I'll always find something though and it's usually chips. I'm just known for eating chips all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you can't go wrong with a pizza, but like, like a nice by like an independent Italian. Mm. I think there's loads of little pockets like that in London, like little restaurants. Nice. Not like a chain, but somewhere with like a nice pizza. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. also gonna pizza. Like everyone. somewhere where the family's been doing it for like generations. Yes, that's exactly what, that's that. That's what you exactly want. Exactly that, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know everyone's gonna be happy with pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. Go wrong. Is there any destinations that you would go back to you, to explore? Because you've only been there for work and you're like on set and then you've gone on set. Is there any like stand up destinations? 100% the Amalfi Coast, which is where we shot parts of Wonder Woman. Um, and it's where I shot my scene. 
we did uh, Basilicata and then Ravello, and Ravello is actually where I shot my one scene. And I'd love to go back there, it was just beautiful. We did like a crew drive, so I was on the bus, like a big bus with all the crew from Basilicata to Ravello, and just like on the Amalfi Drive. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mm. And they had like lemons the size of rugby balls, and mm. oh, it was mm. stunning. And I'd love to go back, because I was 12 at the time, I wasn't really interested in you know, the culture of the place. I was like, the sun's mm. out, yay, mm -hmm. can we go to the pool? Whereas I'd love to go back and actually like, indulge in the culture. I think it's a beautiful place. What is your most memorable jewelry moment then? I would say, through work, I've been able to wear some like stunning pieces, but I think my most memorable one, I did a shoot for the Rose and Ivy Journal and I got to wear these Chanel bracelets, but they weren't just little bracelets, they were like cuffs, the most beautiful things ever. It was stunning and they reminded me of like Wonder Woman's Oh yes, oh yeah, yeah. Because they were just huge and yeah. so sparkly. I'm like a magpie. I swear, anything with glitter in it, my eyes immediately caught. So they were just a dream come true. Cool. Okay, and finally, what's next? What are you up to? What a question. Um, currently, I have no idea what's in the pipeline, which is quite exciting. But things that are releasing, um, I can't say anything too much yet, but House of the Dragon is on the cards. Um, I There's nothing you can tell us about that. Absolutely only, nothing. Only that, what we know, which is like the poster. Yeah, yeah that's pretty yeah, much yeah, it. The, yeah, name yeah. The, the, show, the name of the show is House of the Dragon, yeah, if you weren't aware. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, that's but it. something very exciting, obviously. Yeah, I remember. cannot wait. Um, I wish I could tell you everything. Um, mm. But I think the, the tension helps, you know? It's yeah. going to make it more exciting when it finally drops. Cool. But other than that, um, I have a film called The Lost Girls, which is releasing in select cinemas in the UK very soon, and then in the US in summer. Uh, I have a film called The Cantable Ghost, which is hopefully coming out at the end of this year, maybe early next year. I could be completely lying. Mm. Soon, hopefully. Mm. I should just say soon, really. Mm. Yeah. Um, and Where Is Anne Frank is still floating about, and you can catch it in select places. Cool, okay. And if we need you to come back and talk to something about rocks again, I would love to. Right, definitely. I absolutely. All right, love all right, to. cool. Brilliant. Thanks. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.